TFNN. <laughs> Headline News Update. Here's Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials finished down 12, NASDAQ off one, S&P's down one also. That being said, folks, what you actually have out here is that you had a market that pushed higher. Um, well, actually, you get a sideways market. Yeah, you don't have a market that pushed higher. So you get a sideways market with light volume. That's how it shakes out. Uh, yesterday, the SPY went downtown with 106 million shares. Today, you go sideways with 52. We look at the NDX 100, same type of setup inside the NDX 100. Uh, yesterday, uh, NDX 100 goes downtown, three Qs with 38 million. Today, 21 million on a sideways move. Gold contract, what do we have with gold? Gold rejected lower price, had lighter volume yesterday. Uh, bottom line, start clawing its way uh, higher. Well, rejected lower price today, had lighter volume. Uh, got under the breakout area of the 25th of January. That's 1284. We hit 1282, rejected it, closed at 1288. We go over to the GDX, and we take a look at the GDX, what you're going to see all these gold equities. Uh, what they had done yesterday is that they did reject lower price yesterday. They had light of volume, and they stopped moving topside once again today. The GDX, 2197. Now, what that had done at the 2197, it got it back inside the larger range. So that's a decent setup that it wants higher price. Notes and bonds, guess what? Higher price, lower yield. They both rejected lower price again out here today, had light volume. Um, but that was yesterday, rather. Today, what they did continued higher. The 10-year never broke a swing point, meaning the one uh, on January 18th. We take a look at the 30-year. 30-year did break its lowest swing yesterday, rejected it. Bottom line takes off topside once again, wants higher price. Good old King Dollar. Let's see how King Dollar finished out today because King Dollar was really close to uh, bottom line not closing over the high of yesterday. It did, though. It closed at 96.765. Any close that was over the 96.745, saying it can go higher. You can see the contraction, though. The contraction is pretty intense. On Friday, as we were going in, you know, up and trying to get into these highs, you did 30,000 contracts. Yesterday, we did 16,000. Today, you did 14. So it's a cool way of looking at how these markets are. Are there more buyers? Are there more sellers? Where is your supply line? Stay right there, folks. We're going to be coming right back with some numbers after the close. Recap, Dow finished down 13. NASDAQ off one. S&P's down two. Come right back. TF.